Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. <clears throat> Sorry about the throat clearing. But anyway, we're going to talk about Nosferatus. He's technically, in my opinion, the original vampire. I believe he came out way before Count Dracula did. Uh, only reason I say that is because there is silent films based on Nosferatu. And they made various films throughout the years. The newest one came out in 2002, I think it was, with uh, William Dafoe. Uh, I haven't seen them all the way through. They look like pretty decent movies, but it is definitely a different type of vampire uh, in the way that he looks and everything. He's very, um, I don't know, he's different, put it that way. But I've always liked the way he looked and stuff like that, and the fact that he wears this cap and everything that you're seeing now. And he's probably got some very cool looking accessories that we're going to set up on this figure. And then I'm going to put him up next to Count Dracula. Dracula. But anyway, let's get into the actual box art, and then we're going to jump right into pulling everything out of its box. And then we're going to get into the figure review, okay? So let's go ahead and grab this. Now, I got this from Target, okay? I was actually, I had it on Big Bad Toy Store as a pre-order. But then I took it out and I said, eh, I'll get it at Target when it comes in. And it was there, so I took it. Yeah, took advantage of it. Nosferatu. Now that's a symphony of horror. The ultimate figure. The ultimate action figure. Now the back, this here is a very cool look about him. And I like the fact that he holds these keys. Maybe he's got them in here. And if he does, I'm definitely going to set it up just like this. Okay, and there's the back of it. Many different ways you can pose them, but I like this pose here. I think it's very poetic. And he's got his pen. And he also comes with a rat. Uh, the the Toonie Terror version of it. I do have that one. And he comes with a rat. Okay. Now this one I don't know. So we're going to find out by opening up the box. And that is Nosferatu. Okay, now the accessories. He does come with various uh, facial features. Along with the actual figure. Now, okay, over here in the corner looks like a newspaper. Or something. We're going to find out once we, once we open it up. But that's what it looks like. It's kind of glary, so I can see different hands and stuff. But other accessories, I'm not seeing them until I actually open up the box. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and shut this uh, video down. Pull everything out of his box and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Now, I will be right back, guys. Okay, we're back and I decided to pull everything out of his box. And let me tell you, it's got an un ungodly amount of accessories that we got to deal with here. And we're going to go through them step by step. And some of them I'm not 100% sure, but... I've got a ballpark idea of what they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the accessories and we're going to check out the figure, okay? Now I do have a Terra Toonies version of Nosferatu. And it comes with a rat, but in this particular box set here, it doesn't come with the rat, so I don't know what it is. But anyway, let's start off with the facial. It comes with two heads. Well, I see three all together, really, technically. And that's what that one looks like. Very calm demeanor. Okay. Most of these are built the same way where they can just pop onto the a ball joint and you're good to go. Alright. Alright, let me just make sure we're on the right track here, okay? And that's what she looks like right there. The ears. Nice detail. Okay, I will tell you that. Alright. This next head. It's got a little bit more color to it, and it shows his fangs a little bit. Let me just get in the right position here. Alright. Let me show you these two. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Alright. Yeah, my camera, my camera stand has got this big long handle on it, which, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about it because the actual stand in itself is better than any stand that I've had. Now, you can see the difference between them, okay? So the different uh, facial features and everything. Alright, enough about that. It comes with a pen 
with a plume it's like a feather type old-fashioned type pen and it does come apart because this is like the ink well or something you want to call it and you just kind of just pop it in there and you're good to go so now let me show you the other half of that and that's what that looks like you can put it next to the figure however you want to do it all right so hang on there you go and that's the actual feather thing got some nice detail to it see it's pretty cool anyway all right now this here is my understanding that this could actually be uh, the actual uh, inkwell that actually holds the ink where he pours it into the pad uh, that's an old-fashioned thing but I'm not positively sure if that's what this is if anybody knows what this is let me know in the comment section below please because I'm pretty sure that's what it is like you just kind of pour it in there and stuff. But I could be wrong about that too. It could be in like an ink stamper. I don't know. Who the hell knows. <laughs> but anyway, it's fucking unique, you know. Alright, but that's what this is here, guys. The bottom of it. Alright. Now, it does come with different hands, okay. Comes with four different hands. I always seem to have different hands for these guys. A bunch of different accessories. So you can put things in there. Okay. What I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to put the hat on him and let him uh, hold his keys right there in the center. I think that's a very cool looking look. Cool looking look. Okay. So, like I said, it's capable of holding things. Okay. Right, just so you know. Okay. The other hand, it comes with six pairs of hands. Okay. I mean, not six pairs. I mean, three pairs. Okay. Right. Right, so that, and this here is my understanding that it could possibly be his writings, almost like a um, Book of the Dam or a Book of the Dead, Book of Shadows, not the Book of the Dead. Sorry about that. It's his writings, put it that way. Am I even got this upright? Who the hell knows? I can't even see that. So I'm assuming. Hang on. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming the symbols would go like that. Okay, so hang on. If you can see it from the sunlight, I mean, uh, my lumens light. It's really bright, so I'm not sure how it's reacting to the camera. We're going to find out once I edit uh, the videos and upload them. Okay, now, the other hands are very creepy in nature, and they've got very long fingers. That's weird, huh? Again, you can switch them out, but I'm going to keep the originals on there. And just let him hold his keys with this hat on. All right, this other finger is the same way. Okay, just different configurations. And they're very long. They've got claws on them too. So when he fangs out, <laughs> and we got his hat. It's almost like a chef's hat, but it's black. It's what they used to wear back in the day. Okay. And here's his keys. There we go. So I'm going to have them hanging off his hands, along with the hat. And then I'm going to throw them up on the shelf and put the other accessories away. All right, so now let's look at the figure in itself, and then once I get done reviewing the figure, we're going to go ahead and set it up and let you see how I want it to be set up, okay? So let's shut this off. Let's look at Mr. Nosferatus. Okay, there you go, guys. Now the head in itself, I might change it out. I'm not sure yet. We're going to see what we can do with it. Okay. 
let me take this off the stand. Now the actual cloak or his jacket is made of a heavy rubber. Okay, so I keep that in mind. It's got nice detail to it, I'll tell you that. And it splits in the back. And he's got his legs. We'll get into the articulation in a second here. Again, it has the foot pad, the holes in the foot pad, so you can use your neck stand, which is, you know, the best thing to do. In case you're walking by, your figure falls over, you don't want all that. You want it to stay where it's at, if you're using it for display purposes. In most cases, that's what collectors do. So, his hands. Oh, that's the cool aspect. That's why I'm keeping these hands. You're going to catch these hands. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to change out the head and get it all set up and let you take a look at it. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back and I pretty much just put the hat on. I switched out the head to the one that actually shows his teeth a little bit. And I couldn't get the hands to stay together without doing any kind of damage to it. So I kept it the way it is and just had his uh, keys hanging off of his one, uh, his uh, right hand. Alright, so that's what it pretty much looks like right there, guys. Okay. Alright. In the meantime, I'm going to end this video here because i got to edit all these. And that's what's going to take the longest time is to get these things done. And then i got to get them uploaded to the channel. So, in the meantime... Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as I will be definitely doing some more videos once my stuff starts coming in. And I'm definitely going to touch base on the, uh, the t-shirts that I have because I've got over 20 of them I need to show you guys. So we're going to do a video just strictly on the t-shirts. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day and enjoy yourselves.